I'm Jeff Davis and this is The Climb from Ireland. packing up all our stuff because early in the morning tomorrow we are heading to Dublin, Ireland. Since I'm not the best driver and my wife Leslie is a much better driver and on her bucket list was driving on the opposite side of the road in Ireland apparently um, she was the one to drive the rental car. For some reason they have put the steering wheel on the passenger side so we're gonna complain. Did they put the steering wheel on the wrong side? They did. Come on out! Here she goes. First time driving on the other side of the street. Oh, look at this big truck, guys! Dublin's fair city, where the girls are so pretty. I first set my eyes on sweet Molly Malone as she wheeled her wheelbarrow through the streets broad and narrow. So today we are in Kilkenny, Ireland, at the Kilkenny Castle. That's pretty cool. That's a real castle. In cockles and mussels, alive, alive, oh. Scotch egg. Let's see what's inside. Damn. It's like a. Wow! Oh my god. That is amazing. Seemed like a good time to go for a family run. We were driving and we don't know where we are. We, didn't, we don't Lismore. have no idea. Where? Lismore. Oh, Lismore. We've been losing less. Let's stop running. Now we're losing more. From now on, we we're just driving by, <laughs> and we saw this spectacular castle. Castle. Where you put my? Hey, look at these handsome guys. Look. Black shirts and jeans. Yeah. My kids were so into the, the, the bread slicer, this old bread slicer machine that one of the bakers had. Somehow I, I uh, convinced the, the baker to let us crawl under the counter and stand inside the little, the little square where they work and, and watch the bread go through this old machine. Uh, uh, uh. 
But my favorite, favorite moment of all of Ireland was when we rolled up to Adair Castle. This place is just magical and we rolled up there just as the tea time was ending and they have this whole elaborate tea room that you could go to and, and I said, can we get still get in? And the girl looked at me like I was crazy and she said, you have to book this months in advance. I made my saddest face possible and she brings us to this room that has the most spectacular view of the grounds that you really do feel like you're in a dream and we ordered so much food, maybe a few extra glasses of Jameson on the rocks. Cheers from a dog meadow. A dare. A dare. A dog. What's the point of it? My daughter was served tea with all the little things in the cream around tea time and I just could have sat at that table 15 hours and as we're leaving after we were there for hours and the man who pulls our car up in the valet says oh did you enjoy the the grounds with the fairies and what are you talking about and there's this huge whole area on on the grounds that they've built that is just like a dream for kids and we spent another hour there I think with our car still sitting in the valet. Finally got our first rainy day, but this is the Cliffs of Moher. One of my favorite things about Ireland was when we were driving from one town across to the other town and everything in the middle just the countryside was so beautiful and the cows these old you know hundreds of years old walls along these narrow little roads just beautiful every now and then we would just pull over and jump out even if it's misting rain and and just get near the cows and um, just take a quick picture yes, sir. It was one last night in Dublin, shared a few pints with Leslie, met the owner of the pub across the street from the, from the hotel we were staying in, another amazing entrepreneur, and, uh, and had the best time. It warms my heart. My kids are in a, a pub in Dublin. I swear we didn't give him any beer. I swear. We're packing up our bags here in Dub. Sorry, I fell. We're packing up our bags here in Dublin, and our next stop is Scotland, right? Yes. And day after day, night after night on this trip, we've been traveling for weeks and weeks now, and I just still keep thinking. I can't believe we're doing this. I can't believe we're really doing this. And Leslie got so good at driving on the other side of the road that she could even do it with one hand. And she was never scared again. Gotta be kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You're under pressure. <laughs> Under 
pressure. Pressure. 